Welcome to Art Explained, the home of art, art history, stories, and art education for all who are interested. This video is an invitation to learn about William Etty and his contribution to the art world. We invite you to watch this video until the end so you can find out why he continued to go to art classes even after becoming a master painter. William Etty was born on March 10, 1787. He was an English artist best known for his historical paintings containing female figures. He was the first significant British painter of feminine figures and still lifes. Born in York, he left school at the age of 12 to become an apprentice printer in Hull. William Etty showed artistic promise from an early age, drawing in chalk on the wooden floor of his father's shop. He completed his apprenticeship seven years later and moved to London, where he joined the Royal Academy Schools in 1807. There he studied under Thomas Lawrence and trained by copying the works of other artists. Etty earned respect at the Royal Academy of Arts for his ability to paint realistic flesh tones, but had little commercial or critical success in his first few years in London. Etty's Cleopatra's arrival in Cilicia, painted in 1821, featured numerous feminine figures and was exhibited to great acclaim. Its success prompted several further depictions of historical scenes with feminine figures. All but one of the works he exhibited at the Royal Academy in the 1820s contained at least one feminine figure, and he acquired a reputation for indecency. Despite this, he was commercially successful and critically acclaimed, and in 1828, was elected a Royal Academician from the Royal Academy of Arts. At the time, it was the highest honor given to an artist, and with this honor, Eddy received the title R.A. Although he was one of the most respected artists in the country, he continued to study in art classes throughout his life, a practice considered inappropriate by his fellow artists. He valued working alongside his fellow students as a way to maintain a fresh perspective in his art and the creative process. In the 1830s, Eddie began to branch out into the more lucrative but less respected field of portraiture, and later became the first English painter to paint significant still lives. He continued to paint both male and female figures, which caused severe criticism and condemnation from some elements of the press. An extremely shy man, Eddie rarely socialized and never married. From 1824 until his death, he lived with his niece, Betsy, otherwise known as Elizabeth Etty. Even in London, he retained a keen interest in his native York and was instrumental in the establishment of the town's first art school and the campaign to preserve York City walls. While he never formally converted from his Methodist faith, he was deeply attached to the Roman Catholic Church and was one of the few non-Catholics to attend the 1838 opening of Augustus Pugin's Chapel for St. Mary's College in Oscott, which was at that time England's most important Roman Catholic building. Eddie was prolific and commercially successful throughout the 1840s, but the quality of his work deteriorated throughout this period. As his health progressively worsened, he retired to York in 1848. His balanced, expressionist use of color artistically set him apart from his contemporaries. His modernist trends, along with a vivid impressionist palette, make us feel as if the painted work has a life of its own on canvas. 
He has been described by many critics and admirers as the unrivaled master of feminine grace and charm. He died on November 13, 1849, shortly after a major retrospective exhibition. In the immediate aftermath of his death, his works became highly collectible and sold for large sums. Changing tastes meant his work later fell out of fashion, and imitators soon abandoned his style. By the end of the 19th century, the value of all his works had fallen below their original prices. Throughout the 20th century, he remained relatively unknown except in his native York. We hope you have enjoyed watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by selecting the subscribe button below. Please give us a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share the video on your preferred social media service. We are super excited about you watching our video and look forward to your continued support. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.